So sometimes we go out in the garden and we find one of our fountains not working. Yep, the solar fountain has stopped, the sun is out, but guess what? The wire's been chewed in half. Now, yes, once in a while we can be clipping in the garden and not see the wire, but they do get chewed once in a while. There are multiple ways of fixing it. I've got other videos up there on how I do it. But this is a very different way and a little unique. And let me tell you something, it works and even Gary was impressed. What I do here is that's a power unit, by the way. I'm running my soldering iron on this and you can just plug it into the wall if you've got a wall outlet no nearby. I take my soldering iron and on the first layer, the black cord, I soften it and then I slide off the outer wire because inside you'll see there are two more wires, a red, red one and a black one, but we need to get the outer off. Now, if you've got a wire stripper, go for it. I should have gone and looked in the garage, but I didn't. And I just wanted to get this done. Now we have to strip the inner wires. Each red wire, each black wire has to be stripped down. We need to get to the exposed wire. That's the big thing. And you can take as little or as much as you want to work with. As these solar fountain kits have really long cords. So don't worry if you make a mistake, just cut another piece off and start all over the process. Now I've got the wires almost completely exposed. I've got to get the black one exposed on both sets of wires because we have to make this two piece now in the one and I need to expose the red wire. And you can do it whatever method you want. But what's coming is what's different that Gary's never seen anybody do before. And well, it was just my method, my way. And I know a lot of you do crafting and not all of us have black tape and all the stuff we need to put electrical wiring together. But we do have something else that you'll see in a few moments. So there I am getting all the rubber off around each wire. Now we've got to put together both of the red ones and both of the black ones separately. We don't want to put the black and the red together. We want two reds together. See, I'm twisting it and the two black ones together. So we're going to twist it really nice and tight. We want to make sure the copper wire has really good contact with each other. Now, okay, take a good look at that. The reds are together and the blacks are together and they're not together. They're separate. So now you've got two separate units to, together. Here is where it's different. I brought out my toy glue gun. No, it's not a toy. It's just a small one. I have a bigger one. It doesn't matter. Any glue gun will work. Some of these you can get at dollar stores. And now we're going to coat each section, which means the red one's going to get totally coated in hot glue from the very base all the way to the end. And the black one is going to be coated all the way from the base, we don't want any of the copper wire that's inside exposed to the air. We want it completely covered. Kind of like dipping it in plastic like they did when they made the wire. Instead of electrical tape, we're going to use our hot glue gun. And let me tell you something, it's not going anywhere because it's going to grip on really good because we're going to load it up. Don't worry if you put too much because with the hot glue, too much is better than not enough. Now we want to let it dry. And there it is. They're separate. It's going to work because we put it back together. Does it look kind of funny? I don't think so because we're not done yet. We're just waiting for it to cool. Now, once the hot glue is cooled, we're going to kind of fix this up for the garden. It's going to look so cute. Nobody's going to know it was ever cut or torn in half or chewed up. We're going to use here some silk flowers. You can pick that up again at a dollar store, a whole bundle, and do all kinds of stuff with it. Now I'm going to trim it because we don't need it that long. As long as the wire is making good contact, just trim off the real you know, ends. We, don't, we want to keep it a good length, but we don't need it super long. Now we're going to start loading up glue again. I do keep it separate. It probably doesn't matter, but see how I kind of separated it like a V? So you've got the red on one side, black on the other. And then I stick on my pretty little daisy. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to load that up with the glue and I'm going to stick the daisy on. Now let me tell you something. I made this video six months ago in the winter and I was going to put it up then, but I thought how many people really had a solar fountain going? So I decided to wait until everybody's got their solar fountains out. And this is a good time because I forgot about it. And Gary reminded me, hey, did you put that video up? No, I didn't. So I ran and grabbed it, figured I'll get this up together for you. Look at this. Does that not look cute? It is now back together. 
it's working. Listen. And it looks like it's part of the whole fountain. It's so pretty. Now your pump is working. Most people would throw it away. Don't throw it away. You're going to lose $15, $20. All you need is a glue gun and some patience. And you can put it back and then put it back in the garden. Set it up where it was. Set it up anywhere. But your pump is as good as new. You've got your electrical connection together. And all you need is the sun. And back it goes. And here I am putting it back six months ago. This was in the winter. Just put it back the way it was. And by the way, this particular fountain was an old fountain I bought. It's an indoor table mount fountain. You're supposed to have the ambiance in the house of running water, which Gary didn't want to hear running water in the house all the time. So I put it outside and it's been out there for years. But unfortunately, the pump got chewed and now it's as good as new. Look how cute the flower looks. I mean, you'll walk by and you'll know I fixed that. But let me tell you something. It's been running now for six months from winter to now. The glue has held up. It's good. It's plastic. It's going to last a long time. Probably better than electrical tape outside like that. It looks cute. You know what? The main thing is it works. And you know what? The pumps go back. Always take them apart and clean them. I've got tons of videos on that because they rarely go. I've got some of these solar fountain kits that are now over six years old and still running strong. And there's the panel out in the sun. And look how beautiful that looks. I didn't have to throw it away, didn't have to buy a new one. And now my fountain is running for the birds to come in and take a drink. This one's really set up for more of the other birds like the towies and the house finches and white crowns. Rarely do you see a hummingbird come to this because it's on the ground. But this is just so cute. I was so happy to fix it. And Gary said, I've never seen anybody use a glue gun and fix an electrical wire. Well, I don't care. I did it my way. And as long as my birds, like this little towie, is happy, I'm happy that I can sit back in the morning, have a cup of coffee in the bird garden, and watch the birds come to my fountain and see that little dangly daisy, or two daisies, knowing I put it back together and didn't have to put in a whole new pump. This video of the towie was six months ago. So fix the ones that get cut. Don't toss them out. All you need is a glue gun, patience, and you'll have it running again as good as new. And this towie is from today. And that goes for all the different fountains you've got. If you've got the little USB fountains also, you can do the same thing, splice them and put them back together. So if you ever find it apart, just think about fixing it. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Oh, I so love all these birds.